everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then welcome. I'm so happy you found me. I have a Dollar Tree DIY for you today. In today's crafting adventure, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to make this flag-inspired patriotic wreath. All of the materials I used to complete the project came from Dollar Tree. Let me show you how to make it. For today's project, you're going to need one of the 14 inch wreath forms that you can pick up from Dollar Tree. You're also going to need one roll of the dark blue mesh, two rolls of red, and two rolls of white. You're also going to need a package of pipe cleaners or chenille stems. Today we're going to be doing the folded ruffle method you're going to need to cut your pipe cleaners in half and then you want to cut your deco mesh into strips of 12 inches so then what you do is you take your ends and you fold them over themselves by about an inch to an inch and a half you press that down hold it while you scrunch right down the center where everything is folded together pinch it and then wrap your pipe cleaner around the center and pull it to the back, get it nice and snug. I always like to pull everything down so I can get a good grip. And then give it a good twist or two. And then you come out with this really cute, I think it looks like a little butterfly bundle. Okay. Let me show you again. So you have your piece cut at 12 inches. You want to take those ends and you fold them over each other by about an inch to an inch and a half. You press it down, turn, and just like a regular ruffle, you grab at one end and you scrunch right up the center, pinch, wrap your pipe cleaner around, do your best to keep it in the center, pinch tight and give a good twist. your little butterfly and then as you attach these you're going to be attaching them to the two bars here in the center now the blue you're going to be putting all the blue together and one roll will give you 15 bundles so I put 10 bundles in one section and the section is between your two crossbars here and then five into the other section because the blue should take up about one fourth of the wreath. Now I always like to pull mine to the back, get it nice and tight, give it a twist or two. And then I pull my ends together and I push them forward in the wreath and then push my bundle over. That way my back stays nice and clean. You will not be able to see those from the front once the wreath is done. It looks like I may need to add a few more bundles of the blue because I want to make sure that I'm getting a fourth of the wreath. It looks like I need maybe just a few more. But I'm going to start adding my others and see how it goes. If I need to, um, I will add a few more. But we'll see. This is one roll of the blue. So now I'm starting to attach my red and white. And you want to attach two bundles of each color. That way you get a nice stripe. Plus, as you add your bundles, you can put them side by side and kind of move them so that they cover more space and you get more of a definite stripe. 
For your convenience, in the description box below is a detailed list of all the tools and materials I use to complete the project. So what I mean is when you push it over, push one over to one side and then push the other one kind of over to the other, you'll get a wider spread of the color and a definite stripe. And then you just keep doing that around the rest of the reef. I'm going to get my base filled in and then I'll come back and we'll move forward. And there you go. I have my base all done. It did take just one roll of the dark blue mesh and two rolls of the white and two rolls of the red. I did have a little bit of the red and the white left over. Now in each section, and that is between each of the crossbars, I placed approximately 10 to 11 bundles per section. I'm really happy with how that turned out. Go ahead and set that aside. You're also going to need some white paint. I'm going to be using the Apple Barrel White. Now during Christmas time, Dollar Tree sold some packages of these small wood cutouts of stars. I'm going to be using these. If you didn't happen to pick them up at Christmas time, um, I do know that Michaels carries some and Hobby Lobby, and I believe I've also seen them at Walmart. You'll need, um, these are, I'd say, about an inch wide, and you'll need about 10 or 11 of them. You just want to get a good coat of white paint on there, and you want to make sure to get those little edges on the sides. If you enjoy hauls, crafts, and learning new craft techniques, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do upload new content every week. And if you hit the notification bell, YouTube will let you know every time I post new content. The last thing I need to do is just attach my stars to my blue mesh. And I'm going to do that just by hot gluing them on. Add a little dollop on the back and place them where you like. Just try to get them evenly distributed. And there you go. I have all my stars on and we are all done. I really do love this wreath. It's very simplistic, but very festive. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and show me some love in the comments. This really does help support my channel. Thanks again for stopping by. You know it's always a pleasure to see you. I hope everyone is staying happy, healthy, and strong. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.